How about using all of that rain water, which we'll be getting over the next several months, could be a great way to irrigate your plants. Dr. Whitney Elmore is back with more on how to use rain barrels. Yes. I like thought this was like a lemonade thing or something with a little <laughs> it, spigot it does look here. It. And let me say here, this is our demo. So this is much smaller than your typical rain barrel, which is usually around 50, 55 gallons. Okay, and I was going to even ask that because I'm like, Whitney, I had no idea there were smaller ones. I expected <laughs> the real big ones. And so see how much I know about that. A little that's easier why to carry you. around. Yeah. Well, that's why you are here because, again, I've heard the term. Carly was raving about it in the beginning, mm -hmm. and her mom loves rain barrels. Yeah. So, what is it about rain barrels? I, I obviously I know what they do, but explain well, a little bit more. Number one, they can save you a lot of money on irrigating your ornamentals, your landscaping plants, but they're also very environmentally friendly. It cuts down on how much water we're actually having to use in our irrigation. It's a great way to recycle. So with rain barrels, then you can actually hook several of them together. You can have them um, throughout your landscaping and be able to use the rainwater that comes into these very safely. And I will say this, use it on your ornamentals. Um, don't use it on veggies. Um, don't use it to, um, to drink or to bathe in or to, <laughs> to feed the, the pets. <laughs> yeah, to feed the pets or anything because there could end up being, um, you know, some um, bird droppings or some things, chemicals that get in here off a roof sometimes. So this is simply to irrigate your landscaping plants, but it's a very great economically and uh, environmentally friendly way to recycle and it's really easy to put together. You take a food grade barrel like you see here and you drill a hole. Now of course this is scaled down, but you drill a hole usually three to five inches from the bottom and take a spigot, just a, a hose bib here, um, and drill a hole for that, usually a one inch um, hose bib and then set this up on some blocks to keep it up off the ground. Okay. Keep it steady so that it's not going to bulge or tip over. If you've got kids or anything, I suggest kind of attaching this to the wall where there's no safety issues there. But just raise it enough where you could get a hose attached to this or a bucket underneath. Then, if you notice here at the top, and of course this is small because it's a demo, we drill a, a very small hole here for an overflow when we get those big gully washers. Okay. okay. And then at the top, you can just take um, insect mesh, just screening um, that you would have um, around the house, very easy, and fit that into the top. Some of the barrels come with just a complete opening here where you can just screw the lid right onto the mesh to hang on to it. Or you could just take the lid, use your safety glasses, drill out a hole, and use that to contain your mesh. This keeps the bugs out, like the mosquitoes and the debris. Okay, I, I kind of worry even about like, you know, my, my daughter's little toddler pool and mosquitoes. So I'm glad we addressed this because I know yeah. this can be a big issue. Mm -hmm. Now, when I think of, you know, rain barrels though, I think of these like the giant, you know, like wooden barrel barrel things. Sure. Any tips on that? Because some people actually use those because of what they even look like. There's in their all kinds of styles. Lots of people will decorate these. I think we've got a picture of this. They'll decorate them, incorporate them into their landscaping, and they can really become a, a pretty focal point. And lots of folks will use some of the different um, galvanized tubs and things like that around the house. Um, we generally um, go for anything that's food grade. Now, what do you mean by that? Food grade, like that anything you would eat that might come out of these. Um, some of these sometimes come with olives or hot peppers, things like that out of it. We want to make sure there's no chemicals that could leach out of this into the water into the environment. Okay, so you're saying they're easy to put together, Very. easy to install. What about the maintenance though to make sure they last? These can last upwards of 10 years or more. Really? As long as you've got these very stabilized, a couple of feet up off the ground on some pavers or some cement blocks, these can last for many, many years. Well, if people have any questions, again, you explain this so well, you explain so much to all of us here. How can people get in touch with you and stay up to date on everything that's going on? They can simply go online and search for Pasco Extension Office and they'll easily find our website or call us at 352-518-0156. We're happy to help. Well, I'm glad we talked about rain barrels and shoot, like Carly's mom, she even sold them with her house. So who knows, it can absolutely <laughs> add to the investment point. in your house as well as adding yeah. to the atmosphere and your environment. Dr. Elmore, thank you so much for coming on. Thank we you. We love when you're here. And a little teaser, next time she's in, she's going to be talking about some world travelers. Right. So be sure to stay tuned for that as well. <laughs> Thanks.